now let us take the next question it says prove that prove that ab whole complement plus a complement plus ab whole complement is equal to zero we need to prove this thing okay so first of all let us try to expand this it can be written as a complement plus b complement plus a complement plus ab whole complement right here in this case you can see we have written this expression like this by using de morgan's law by using de morgan's law okay now in this case you can see we have a complement and a complement we don't have to write it twice just write it once so it can be written as a complement plus b complement plus ab whole complement now you can distribute a over this or you can distribute b over this that, that's your personal choice so it can be written as a complement plus a dot a complement plus b plus b complement whole complement we have distributed a complement over ab so it can also be written as this is one so it is a complement plus b plus b complement whole complement right but you already know what is b plus b complement this is equal to 1 so it can be written as a complement plus 1 whole complement and this complete expression is 1 and the complement of 1 is equal to 0 right so we'll get 0 hence this complete expression is going to uh, give you 0 so left hand side is equal to the right hand side hence proved okay now let us take the b part in the b part they are saying we have a b plus a c whole complement plus a b complement c dot a b plus c is equal to 1 okay now let us try to do this we have a b plus a c whole complement plus open the brackets you will get a b complement c dot a b plus a b complement c dot c okay now you already know we have b dot b complement which is equal to 0 so it can be written as a b plus a c whole complement plus a c dot 0 plus a b complement c and this complete expression is now 0 so it is a b plus a c whole complement plus a b complement c now you can either you can open this uh, you can apply de morgan's law here or or you can distribute a over this this these two expressions also let us do both the things together okay so first of all take a as common between these two so it can it is if you take a as common so it is b plus b complement c plus we have ac whole complement so apply de morgan's law so it can be written as a complement plus c complement again distribute b over this so it is a b plus uh, b complement dot b plus c plus a complement plus c complement and this is equal to 1 so it is a b plus c plus a complement plus c complement if you open the brackets it can be written as a b plus a c plus a complement plus c complement right so you can distribute a over this and you can distribute c over this that is a better way to do so it can be done as a plus a complement b plus a complement plus a plus c complement dot c plus c complement so this is one this is one so it can be done as a complement plus b plus a plus c complement and this and this it is equal to b plus c complement plus one which is equal to one itself so hence you can say that this complete expression can be minimized to one okay so we have done these three questions we have already done this we have done this we have done this now let us check take the part number c here now let us take the next question it says we have a b complement plus a b c whole complement plus a b plus a b complement 
whole complement is equal to zero. We have to prove this. Okay. So here you can take A as common, so it can be written as B complement plus B C whole complement plus A. You can distribute B over this, so it is B plus A dot B plus B complement whole complement, which can be further written as this is distribute B over this, so it is A B complement plus B. Dot B complement plus C whole complement plus A. This is equal to one, so it is A plus B whole complement. Okay. Again, this is equal to one, so this complete can be written as A dot B complement plus C whole complement plus A A plus B whole complement. Okay. Again, you can also open it here. If you open these brackets, then you will get A plus AB, and here you can apply the absorption law because you already know if you do A plus AB, now it can be written as A. Okay, so this complete can be written as A complement. Apply De Morgan's law here. So A complement plus B complement plus C whole complement plus A whole complement. Again, in this case, you can take. We have, you can see, we have a complement and a. So you can write it one here. So it can be written as one plus b complement plus c whole complement whole complement, which is equal to this. If you add one to any expression, so this is equal to one. So if you, you do one complement, which is equal to zero. So left hand side is equal to right, right hand side. So hence we have proved this expression.